back. We're finishing up our book on soups and salads. And today's recipe is um, devoted to all of you who think that making salads is complicated. We're just making a random salad and we'll call it mango and grapefruit salmon salad. And this is just an example of how you can create all kinds of different salads around what you already have in your home. So everybody has their favorite greens. So pick your favorite greens. And I just happen to have some red, red leaf lettuce. Cut it up or just kind of break it with your fingers in big chunks. You can use two or three different kinds of greens. Some of the greens I will break and cut with my fingers and some of them I'll cut with, cut with knife. So use whatever greens you like or whatever is available in your home at the moment. You see different colors, different kinds of salads. It always adds to the lure of the salad. It makes it a little more interesting. In addition to three small heads of lettuce, I have a five young onions. onions. In addition to lettuce and onions, I also found a fresh cucumber in the kitchen. So a one medium to small cucumber. Right, we'll add that too. Fresh greens aside. And now we're going to work on dressing. For dressing, we're going to start with quarter cup of mayo. Quarter cup of extra virgin olive oil. I love using Dixon Estate extra virgin olive oil. Okay, here it goes olive oil. Something very interesting today to try. A salt is a salt, but this salt happens to be a pink salt or it's called Himalayan salt. So it's very coarse, so I will use a little bit of the salt. Actually, let me measure it for you. Should you have the recipe? So we're going to use half a teaspoon. And if you have, um, I mean, you choose the way how to grind the salt. This is the quickest way for me so I don't have to pull out any ex extra gadgets from the kitchen. Okay, just use a wide knife. You just kind of crush it like this. There goes salt. All right. And uh, since this salad will contain grapefruit, I'm not going to use any vinegar. Instead of vinegar, I'm just going to use one fresh lemon. That is just the juice from one fresh lemon. And this really is one juicy lemon. So, there you go. I actually like having uh, lemon pulp in my dishes. Okay, if you end up having lemon seeds, pull them out. This is one way to catch them. You can also strain them. You can strain your lemon separately. One of black pepper. I'm gonna try this. Hmm, very lemony. So, in addition to what we already have in our salad, I'm gonna add one tablespoon of capers. These are large capers. So it doesn't look as if we have dressing this ready. So we're just going to pour that over greens. So we're going to just gently mix dressing into the salad. Just gently. Now we're going to decorate it with all the nice stuff. So decorated, I have some fresh grapefruit, fresh ripe mango, I have some smoked salmon, and some uh, uh, pecans. So this salad will turn from the simple greens into a delicious I'm gonna meal. gonna use two small grapefruits. These are off of our tree, but um, one large will be just as good. I have picked smaller ones because I wanna keep them cool. It's just so beautiful and so rich in color like this. Okay, let's set these beauties. In a dish. And oh, this is gorgeous, just gorgeous. Just looking at these colors, it makes me happy. I recently purchased um, mangoes in the store, and I'll tell you, I have never seen uh, bigger mangoes, nor did I ever have tastier ones. So this mango was ex 
exceptionally, exceptionally good. And I'm just going to slice it like this. The mango is optional. However, I think one medium-sized mango would be enough. This is how you have fun with food. Look at this. It's simply beautiful. Turn a salad into a complete meal. I will add some smoked wild salmon. Just the chunks like this. It will be fine, but you can add a little bit more if you wish. Two tablespoons of feta cheese. To kind of finish it off with a few walnuts. I like to have nuts or pe any kind of uh, nuts. So these are pecans, or you can use the walnuts as well. And to end it up, to finish it up, I'm going to throw some leaves of parsley. Or you can use the different herbs if you prefer different herbs. Parsley is what I have in the house, and I usually tend to cook around. Uh, foods that I already have in my kitchen. So, since we purchased fresh parsley today, that's what we're gonna use on our salad. It's really, really easy to make and it's a really delicious dish. I hope that the salad is a proof that making salads is not a brainer. Anybody can do it. And you can create salad around your own taste. Thanks for watching once again. Uh, as always, it's been fun cooking with you. And if you like this recipe, you can find us on Amazon as this recipe will soon be in our new cookbook called Soups and Salads from Villa de la Vine. Follow us on our YouTube channel and share your comments. Let us know how we're doing and how we can be of service to you. If you have a recipe you would like us to try for you, let us know. Until next cooking and next recipe, take good care of yourself and your children and please eat well.